Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, today, I will be presenting a presentation on credit score. So, some of you may be asking, what is a credit score? Well, a credit score determines the consumer's credit worthiness or likelihood to repay loans, bills, and debts. Your credit scores can range from 300 to 850. The higher your score, the better it is for you. Uh, your credit score can greatly impact your chances of obtaining loans, mortgages, credit cards, and much more throughout your life. So, how is credit score calculated? Well, it's calculated using five main factors. The first of which is payment history, which makes up 35%. And this asks whether you pay your bills on time or late. The next uh, factor is total amount owed, which makes up 30%. And this asks how much of your credit are you using. So, for example, if you are given a credit card that has a max capacity of $1,000 and you spend $100 on the account, that means you're using 10% of it. So that is your total amount that you owe. Cool. The next one is length of credit history. And this just asks how old is your credit line. After that, we have types of credit. So there are various types of credits that exist in the world. Uh, one good example is credit cards, but there are other credits that you can get from like loans, mortgages, and stuff like that. And the final factor is new credit. And new credit is, just determines how much or how many times you tried to open a new credit card or obtain a new loan within the past 45 days. So how can your credit score impact you? Well, it can determine whether or not you can buy a house, get good interest rates, rent an apartment, purchase a car, and even getting a cell phone. If you have good credit, then you don't have to worry about any of that. But if you have bad credits, there are ways for you to improve your credit so that you can actually qualify for all of these benefits. So how can you get started? A good first step is becoming an authorized user. An authorized user is someone who is underneath the parent credit account. So for example, if your father has a credit card, you can become an authorized user of his account. This means you can use his credit to purchase things using a shared credit card. The next step is applying for your own credit card. This is a great way for you to build your own credit history and gain the perks from credit cards like cash back or scores and points. Another option is getting a credit builder loan. A credit builder loan is like a forced savings account. You would have to pay back the loan before you can actually take out the loan. And the last option is using a cosigner. This option is quite risky because if anything happens to that account or loan, both you and the cosigner will be held accountable for that. Here are some tips to improve your credit score. The first is make payments on time, whether they be your credit card, loans, or mortgages. The next one is pay off your credit card balance in full every month. This helps lower your utilization rate or the amount that you owe. The next is limit your credit line inquiries. This means try not to open a lot of credit cards or take out a lot of loans all at once. The next one after that is hold on to your credit lines. This means that if you have a credit card, hold on to that for as long as you can. This helps increase your credit line history. And the last very important one is use what you have and not what you can borrow. A big problem that occurs with credit cards and loans is that people tend to take out a lot more than they can pay back. This can significantly impact your financial situation in the future, so please be careful when you're doing anything regarding your credit. If you're interested in looking up your credit scores, these two QR codes will link you to a website that can help you find it. And uh, with that, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.